Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I thought I'd give you a quick flip through of the classes that I did recently with the lovely and very talented Tracy Scott from Paper Artsy. So um, I did was lucky enough to do two classes, unfortunately I couldn't do the three. And um, two classes I did were the um, lace cut pages, which is this one, and learning how to draw fantasy faces, which was amazing. So um, basically go through um, we learned all about the different techniques on how to paper cut um, and one of the big things for me was learning how to use the paper artsy paints which I hadn't actually used before. These are acrylic paints but they're chalk finish, they're um, very matte finish which is great for putting colour pencil over the top. They dry really really quickly and um, beautiful range of colours, about 150 of them. I may have come away from the class with about 20 so um, I may have spent a little bit of money this week that weekend um, so we did two backgrounds um, using the paints in the backgrounds and then stenciling over the top um, doing some stamping with Tracy stamps over the top as well and adding a little bit of gold just to add some detail to the page so we've got the two pages that we did that to and then we did the lace cut so we started off with this page which was using one of her stencils which she drew around and then cut out and um, for those people who follow my channel for a while and when I've done paper cutting in the past you do know that um, using a really sharp knife is really important so make sure you've got lots of blades if you're going to do something like this then we did this page which she showed us how to draw out her shapes and um, cut out this beautiful lattice work as well and then with the background or leftover paint that we had in our palettes we painted some card and then stamped over the top again with these beautiful scribble um, stamp stamps from Tracy um, and just by um, intermixing the warm colours and the cool colours you get some really cool effects. If you can see in the background it's got that really beautiful um, finish so even the black is um, textured with some stamping over the top which I just loved it gave such a beautiful effect unfortunately I've since used my journal and made a mess of the pages so I'll go back with my black paint and paint over my mistakes but that's what happens the second class I did was the fantasy faces class which um, were these pages again in the background we did that beautiful um, stencil work using the paper artsy colors these are the new colors that Stacey's released uh, let's see I'm not sure which ones they are I think they're these ones I could be mistaken though but I think they're those four colors but they're just beautiful colors um, purple is not a color I would usually go for so I was actually really impressed that I forced myself to use purple um, and yeah learned lots and lots of um, techniques about how to draw faces in the class which I'm not going to give away because they're, they're Tracy's um, signatures but um, it certainly made drawing noses and drawing lips for me really really um, easy and just broke it down into the simple shapes but the one thing that I did truly come away with was how to draw the eyes and make them more realistic and um, these ones aren't quite right because <laughs> I was trying to be a bit tricky and get them looking a different way um, but just the shading of the eyes um, one of the reasons I went to the class is while I knew basic face mapping that sort of where everything was supposed to be I've never really used color pencils all that much so I was really excited to learn how to use color pencils and do the shading learn how to shade eyes properly and um, I just came away learning so much more as well um, learning how to do different hairstyles and shade it in just lots and lots of different stuff so I had an absolute ball and um, I did get ribbed an awful lot in class because I do work quickly <laughs> so I was actually able to do a few more pages than everyone else um, but that's because I already had finished pages in my journal that I could sort of paint over so um, and I wanted to sketch and instead of sketching on blank paper I decided just to sketch in my journal now we didn't get these pages finished in class um, I actually did all this shading and stuff and most of this shading when I came home I managed to get the eyes finished on all of my figures and um, because that was the bit that I really wanted to make sure that I had nailed before I left class um, 
but we were taught all the other different bits and pieces. So these are the sort of two I finished and I finished off after class. Unfortunately though, I bought all these beautiful Prismacolor pencils because I really don't own color pens good color pencils. So I brought all these beautiful color pencils and then promptly came home after class and realized I'd left all the color pencils that I'd bought to finish off my page there. So I had to actually be really patient and wait until I could come back and get the proper pencils. Um, using the paper artsy paints I think was a big thing on these pages because it does have that tooth It is so matte that you can um, use the colour pencils over the top It doesn't um, scrub it away which is really important so um, that was lots of fun So this is a page, this is sort of half done You can see I don't have the shading, I haven't done the hair I've just done the stencil work in the back And this is a page that I had in my journal already just painted pink I was finishing off my Dilutions paint so um, that did, I think, cause a bit of an issue when I was colouring in the eye. Some of the paint was coming off, so I think using the paper artsy paints really works when colouring in the pen with pencil. So this is one I need to continue to work on. In my little um, Dilutions book, um, I used up my leftover paint and decided to do this one as well, just a little one, um, using some different colours. Now they're called Fantasy Faces, so you didn't have to... Um, color them in in real colors so it was actually quite good because again greens are not a color I tend to go to um, so using some different colors to um, highlight the face is really really interesting and again I just really loved how the eyes popped on the page and I got St um, Stacy just to sign my book because I'm a bit of a nerd like that so that was lovely with the lace cut page again I had some leftover paint so um, I quickly did the background with stamps are sitting there so I stamped it up and um, I decided to this is another one of the stencils cut it out and then put in the word bloom so it was just a really quick page to do that I was doing I think during lunchtime while other things were, were happening so um, I used the sort of same techniques as on the other page but this is a simplified version and it doesn't have the, the few different pages going into it from this class I um, did this page um, just recently using a different type of stencil because um, I love doing that paper cutting and again this is a really simplified version I haven't decorated the background but just using the similar techniques and just going on in a different way um, but it was just a really relaxing page I had this sort of sitting in front of me and I could just sit there and tune out while I was doing it so those are the pages that I did in class oh, I have to show you this for those of you who know, I don't swatch, but <laughs> I got carried away buying the different paints and I knew I wanted to buy some more the next day, so I actually had to um, swatch it out properly with a name so I knew what I had. But because I finger painted them, I just shoved some paint into the background and then stamped over it using Tracy Stamp and used some of the Dina tissue over the top. I actually really love how this page turned out and I love the snarky saying I need a, ha a huge amount of eye supplies. So I, um, I thought that worked quite well next to this page. So I, I do actually have more paints in this now um, but at least I didn't buy any doubles which was really good. I did try and buy a double of a stencil however but luckily the, uh, the lovely lady at the shop um, was able to tell me no you've already bought that one so you could get another one instead. So that was my adventures with Tracy. I think she's in Australia for a few more weeks so if you do get an opportunity to go to one of her classes please 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 um, head along. I know she's heading to Canada and America next year as well or maybe in November I can't remember when. Um, so if you ever get an opportunity I would highly 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 recommend that you go and see her because she's just lovely has amazing amazing ideas and techniques and you learn so much during the day. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.